Hi everyone, it's Sir Fadrik and welcome back to another adventure in the Game Mechanics Quest where we take a deep dive into famous game mechanics and try to code them out and in today's episode we're taking a look and trying to code the Boo enemy from Mario that little ghost that goes through everything and stop when Mario looks in his direction and keep going when Mario is giving him his bath I love this enemy and it's one of the most unique enemy in the Mario franchise and I want to give it a shot, so let's get started. First of all, as always, I start with just preparing the scene and getting everything ready to be started. So the boo movement as a simple code is pretty basic. The boo simply moves to towards the point of the player and just assigns the speed to it and it's perfect and it's working. And now the most important part in our coding session here is just when to detect that the player looking at the boo or not. And to make it as simple as we could, just depend how the player rotate and move. So you have to check up the player code movement and then assess and write our boo code depending on that. For me, when I want to code a 2D based movement, I go for either flipping the sprite renderer or by just rotating the whole player game object on the Y axis. And both ways are very similar and works like chart. So let's start with the first way, the flipping of the sprite renderer. So here in the player movement, all you have to do is get the input from the row axis or horizontal axis and flip the sprite according to that input. If it's uh, going to write, but put the flip uh, X to true or put it to false, it can be either way and move the player to uh, on the right vector or the left vector depending on the correct direction. And this code is taken straight up from our ghost sprint tutorial. So if you're looking for a deep understanding for this code, make sure to watch that tutorial. Now, after we have the player moving left to right and just flicking the sprite, all you have to do now in our boo controller, all you have to do is simple. We just get the player flip x sprite renderer variable and get the boo flip x sprite renderer variable. And then we just test the thing out. If they are equal, then follow the player. And if they are not, so the player are looking at you, so stop moving. It's simple and it may need some fiddling on your side of code if your sprite is not facing in the same direction in, the, in your assets, but it's just changing the equal to not equal and it's work. The second part of the code is just checking if the boo on the left of the player flips the sprite or not and if the boo on the right of the player do the same to make sure that the boo is always looking at the player. And to put that everything to in the update function, all you have to do is list the function above each other and if the is moving is true in the end, the boo follows the player. It's simple and it's quick and as you can see right now, it's working amazingly. The next type of operation to put code the 2D movement of the player is just to rotate the whole sprite. And to do that, it's just the same. We create the code for the boo to rotate a whole object based on the x of the boo and the x of the player and as you can see here if it's on the left of the player just rotate it or in the right just rotate it and as I said this depends on the variation or the direction of your sprite in your assets. After this is done we need to just check if the post sprites have the same rotation then the player is giving his back to the boo and if the game objects don't have the same rotation then the player is facing the boo and vice versa and it's working perfectly the same as the flip sprite method so it all depends on how the player move or how the player react to the 2d movement of itself and then you code the boo animation or the boo mechanics above it and if you have another way to code the 2D player movement and you don't know how to convert the boom mechanics to that specific movement, please do share it with me on our Discord so I could so I could give it a look and try to help you out how to code the game mechanics to your 2D movements. And also the code will be available on our GitHub page, links in the description will be commented and free to use whenever you like. And also if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments below and in the end. If you have any great ideas or any great game mechanics you would like to see coded in Unity and C Sharp, please post them also in the comments below. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching and for your feedback. And please consider subscribing. I'm really close to hit the 1000 subscriber mark. We are really close, 100 subscribers short. And if you're looking for a great place to make friends, ask your game development question or just seek help. You are welcome in our kingdom on Discord. Links in the description if you'd like to join. 
and please now don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you all on another adventure in the game mechanic quest.